Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, so, <laughs> I, I put out my first episode of the Daily Bits, and we're going to do that every single day. We have to do that. you got to hold me accountable. I have to do it for a year. Okay. Now, this is something outside of that. Now, I posted a short, uh, I think it was yesterday or today, that was in regards to the new Harry Potter game. It's called Hogwarts Legacy. This came out. Um, selling gangbusters, getting great reviews, but there's also a dark side to all that. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is this is where it's going to get interesting. So, there's a lot of people that are pissed off at J.K. Rowling because she has a certain view of trans people. Now, you know, you can agree with her or you can disagree with her. She does have the right to say that, and she shouldn't be canceled or shut out or doxxed or harassed because she's thinking the same way. Um, you know, that kind of mentality is something you see in China or Nazi Germany or Russia uh, or other countries that are not the USA. <laughs> um, I'm not saying the U.S. is perfect. I know that I, you know, sing praises quite a bit, but. United States is not perfect, um, but it's it's a dangerous precedent that just because you talk about something in a certain way, you should be canceled and destroyed, or if you're associated with that person, you must be sought out, harassed, or destroyed. We call it cancellation. That's what they call it. Now, you know, I, I don't pay attention to J.K. Rowling. Number one, I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan, okay? Uh, I've seen all the movies. Um, I never read the books. I don't know. I haven't watched the uh, the monsters, the, the Fantastic Beasts. I didn't watch those. Uh, I didn't read the books or anything. I didn't eat the cereal. Um, I, I'm just a casual Harry Potter fan, I guess. But... This game got announced, and a lot of people were so excited about it. Now, this is the funny thing, too, about this, is there's a lot of hypocr hypocrisy about this as well that people are trying to hide from, mainly big gaming outlets as well as other streamers. The ones that are saying, hey, they, the ones with the biggest megaphones that are saying, oh, yeah, this is a bad game, J.K. Rowling bad, canceled. These same people are turning around, playing the game and trying to justify it because they need those clicks. They need that revenue from the clicks. But they're not real allies of the LGBTQ community. Because apparently if you buy the game, you're you're fucking Nazi. It is what it is. You know, I'm playing a game. My wife is playing the game. I bought one copy. I didn't go out and buy the special editions. I went in not caring anything about what J.K. Rowling says. Because... What I like to do is I like to separate the artist from the art. Um, some people might say that's dangerous. You, you're still supporting them. How I see it is I'm supporting the devs. You know, the devs that are going to work to have money to pay for their home, pay for their food, pay for their family, pay for their pets, and have a livelihood. Because they wanted to be a game designer. So they finally became a game designer. Guess what? They finally get to work on a Harry Potter game. They wanted to do that. They didn't pay attention to what's going on on Twitter. Because Twitter makes everything worse. Uh, social media in general. Mainly. And, you know, this might seem me as me bitching. Um, you know, I, I don't care if you call me some kind of Nazi... Or something like that. Because I, I know what I am. I know what I am. Uh, I, I know what I am. You know, I think everybody should have the right to do whatever the fuck they want. If you want to be a toaster, go for it. Be the best toaster you can be. But I shouldn't have to participate or be forced to participate in saying words like the pronouns or affirming that there's... 500 genders. I'm not going to do that. That's not happening. It's not happening. I'm not going to bend the knee either. It's not happening. 
I don't care what you say. If you want to unfriend me, unfriend me. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not doing it. And, you know, you can say whatever you want. You can cancel this channel. Stop watching it. I, I don't care. I'm not doing it. Okay? You can be trans. That's fine. I don't care. That doesn't bother me. It's not going to make me sleep any less that you're trans. I don't care. You should have the right to do what you want. It's what's great about the U.S. You can do what you want for the most part. You know, you got these same people saying there's a trans genocide, which there's none that's not in the U.S. at least. I don't hear, you know, the main genocide you hear is in China with the Muslims, I believe. Was it the Muslims? Is that what it is? Uh, concentration camps for Muslims? I don't see trans people being herded up in buses sent to the gas cha chambers in the United States. If that's happening, let me know. Because it's not. It's not. There's no trans genocide in America. It's not going to go that route. It's not. You know, this is a hot topic. This is a hot topic. And no matter what I say, it's not going to matter. I'll be still painted as a bigot. Because I decided to participate in buying a game that I love video games. I just want to play a fucking game when I get home and not have to worry about any type of politics or anything. I just want to relax and have fun. The same thing I've been doing since I was five years old or even younger. Getting home, playing video games. That's what I wanted to do my entire life. And the bad thing is, the thing is, and it's not even bad. The first hour of the Harry Potter game, you're introduced to a trans pub owner. There is an LGBTQ couple in the game that has been, I, I haven't ran into them, but apparently they are there. I have ran into the trans pub owner. The game is quite progressive. It should have every single thing a somebody on Twitter would love. And it's not bothering me at all. It's not. It's just there. It's just there. You've got these people protesting and they're trying to... I think that's hurting trans people more than what this game is. Me, I look at a trans person, I'm like, you're just like me. You're the same as me. You just... Do things different than me. I don't see you any different than I see myself or that lab that's outside, that dog. I don't see you any different. I don't care what the color of your skin is. I don't care what your sexuality or gender or whatever your religion is. I don't care. That doesn't matter. When you come through this door, that doesn't matter. We're friends. You can get in my refrigerator, get you a sandwich, get a soda, sit on the couch. Let's play some video games. Let's play the Harry Potter. Let's enjoy the Harry Potter game. You like Harry Potter? Uh, that's fine. I like Harry Potter too. Let's do that. Do you care what J. K. Rowling says? No, I don't. Fuck her. I don't care. She can say whatever she wants. She can say Santa Claus is a fucking Nazi or uh, the Easter Bunny is... Uh, a fucking toaster that also fucks velociraptors. And has pronouns of Godzilla cricket printer. You, you understand? I don't care about that. I don't. It doesn't matter. It's a fucking game. It's literally a video game. It's not the end of the world. It's not going to bring trans genocide. I don't care what... You know, Stephanie Sterling says she can fuck off too. I, I don't care what Stephanie Sterling says. And, you know, you can say what you want about Stephanie Sterling or Jim. I'm going to call her Stephanie Sterling. I'm going to call her her because that's what she wants. She has the right to do that. But she's not going to tell me that I have to stop playing this game or I don't support LGBTQ people. And I'm not going to have some people unfriend me on Facebook just because they don't like what I said because I decided to play the game. 
I'm not a turf. I'm not a bigot. I'm a human being that just likes to play video games. It's that easy. It's that fucking easy. It really is. These people aren't helping the LGBTQ community. They're making them seem worse. They're making them more oppressed than they really are. It's called the Streisand effect. And you can see this happening with the game. The more you protest, the more people's going to buy it. And I think that's a fine thing. That's a good thing. You know, honestly, I wouldn't care if that was another Hogwarts Legacy. Maybe that's a new franchise. It's making gangbusters. We knew it was going to sell. Nobody really cares what these people say. They have the megaphone, but they're fucking annoying. It's like it's mosquito. It gets on you, sucks your blood, you swipe it off, comes back, does it again until you finally squash it. And that's what needs to be done. This shit needs to stop. It's hate, hate, hate every fucking day. Hate, hate, hate. Hate. Every day. As soon as I open my fucking phone, hate, 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 hate. On YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, big outlet media sites, or CNN, Kotaku, Polygon, Washington Post. Doesn't matter. Fox News. Doesn't matter. It's all the same. It's hate, hate, hate. You're either for us or you're against us. I don't see buying a video game as a statement of being a part of a certain group. I don't see it. But I know I'm a white guy, so automatically being a white guy, I'm a fucking Nazi. I'm just a white neckbeard on the internet. That's a Nazi because I'm white. It doesn't matter that I believe in rights for you know, everyone. Equal rights for everyone. It doesn't matter if I'm pretty progressive. I hate, hate it. <laughs> it's stupid. It's stupid. It really is. It really is. It's really dumb. And you're not going to change my mind. Again, if you're watching this video and you decide that, hey, I am a Nazi because I'm playing Harry Potter... I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't. I really don't know what to tell you. And this is the second video today that I put out about Harry Potter. About the fucking game. It's the second video I put out. I started my challenge, the one year challenge, with a Harry Potter video. And here I am. Still pissed off that it's still happening. So I got to talk about it in more depth to get it out there. That's the definition of insanity, by the way. Me talking about it, me giving my take, me saying how much I dislike these things, it's not going to help. No matter what I say, it will never be enough. It, it just doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Whatever I say will not be enough. Um, and we can go down this road forever, uh, you know, until next month when the new thing to hate comes out. Because Harry Potter game, they're going to forget about that in two weeks. Then the next thing to hate is going to come out. Then everybody's going to jump on that bandwagon. Because that's the cool thing to do. That's what the mob, woke mob does. They hop from controversy to controversy. Even starting controversy when it isn't really needed for one. And I know you're like, oh, you're fat, you, you stutter, you depressed fuck. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I know what I believe in. And I know me playing this game or buying this game doesn't put me in a certain group of people that systematically almost wiped out a whole race of people just because of what they believed in. Because we like to toss around the term Nazi. I don't think most of these people even understand what a Nazi is. They just say it because that's the cool thing to say. Devaluing 
the word. Same people that deny it's a Holocaust. Oh, it didn't happen. Or it doesn't matter because there was a bunch of white people that got killed by Hitler. But by the way, you're playing Harry Potter, so you're fucking Hitler. Does it? It's fucking stupid. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope I didn't piss you off. I'm sorry. Is this, you know, I I didn't expect to make two videos today about that, but it's just burned in my head all day long. And yeah, I'm just tired of it, man. I'm just tired of it. I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, there's a girl called Millie, and 